Welcome to the Museum of American Speed. It's really been hot in the shop, and Anthony and I decided we needed to change the scenery, so we hopped in the car and made the short drive to Lincoln, Nebraska to check out the Speedway Motors Museum of American Speed. We've really been wanting to go to this museum and check it out for a while now, just haven't had the excuse to go. Well, I decided I wanted to build a cycle cart, and what better ex excuse for a road trip is there than that? So... Here we are checking out the 150,000 square foot, three story tall museum that has a vast collection of 60 years of the Smiths family collecting hot rods, race cars, memorabilia, and all kinds of toys, parts, engines, everything. I had no idea this place was as big as it was and it's an amazing place. So if you are ever in the Lincoln, Nebraska area, I highly recommend making the stop and checking this place out. One thing I wasn't aware of is that this has the world's largest collection of pedal cars. There are over 500 pedal cars in this place. Many are preserved in their as-found condition, which means they've got patina or rusted out, just my style, and the rest of them have been impeccably restored. They look like so much fun. In fact, it's got to be a nightmare for any kid visiting this place. You walk onto this third floor and you see all of these cars everywhere, like this beautiful merry-go-round, and every seat says, do not touch. How torturous would that be for a young one? Fortunately, we didn't bring any of our kids with us. We were just there to look at it. And man, though, it just, you can't help but look at this stuff and just smile. Honestly, I never knew there were so many different pedal cars ever made. There was a pedal car tank, a pedal car train, planes, boats, everything. Even this cool little Batmobile along with the Bat Boat. Who knew? I was surprised by the collection of tin toys and games and all kinds of fun stuff. Some of this was admittedly before my time, but many of it wasn't. And looking at all the tin toys and the games, the Buck Rogers collection, there was lots of toys in there that I had or wish that I had or was hoping to have or my older brothers had. You know, it was just lots of fun memories for me. Side note, while we're here, I loved Hot Wheels. And I actually, my favorite Hot Wheel was a car that I played with so much that the paint wore off and it actually looked exactly like this galvanized speedster. I saw it and it's like, it's my old heart one. I didn't realize when I was playing with that Hot Wheels that it was modeled after this very car. It's kind of cool. But that's enough about the toys. This museum is about the need for speed, and there's plenty here for that too, so let's see what else we can find. The collection includes hundreds of professionally restored antique high-performance engines, as well as scores of historic and significant racing cars, show cars, classic cars, hot rods, street rods, and many one-of-a-kind examples. I really appreciate the old school carburetors. So I really like this whole display on all the carburetors and intake manifolds. It was really pretty cool. And Anthony and I both enjoy hood ornaments and gas caps. So we really love this display too. It was amazing to see all the ones that he had collected throughout the years. The museum is also home to a flathead Ford intake collection. It is possibly the most extensive collection of flathead Ford V8 intake manifolds created. Each one is different and born from ideas of enthusiasts pursuing greater speed and performance. And it is just amazing to look at. So at the beginning of this video, I said that I was going to the Speedway Museum in order to get inspiration to build a cycle cart. And you might be wondering what that is. So basically what a cycle cart is, is a go-kart that's built to look like a vintage race car. So you pick an inspiration vehicle, something pre-1940s, and you go to Harbor Freight and pick up a little six and a half horsepower go-kart type motor, and then you 
build that old body around it. Uh, it doesn't have to look exactly like it. You can, you know, just kind of have fun with it, be artistic with it, make it your own. And then they race these things in events nationwide. Nobody goes really fast. Again, six and a half horsepower motor, but they do have a lot of fun with it. And it's all about how much character you can give your vehicle and making it look old. And it just sounded like a lot of fun to me. I like building stuff, so I'm gonna give it a go. Now, all of the building part of this cycle card is going to happen over on Anthony's channel, Hardcore Fab. I'll give you a link to that here. You can go there and follow along with all of the steps from start to finish, taking the governor off of this for one thing, and building this vintage race car uh, with a go-kart motor in it. So that'll happen over there. Here uh, on the That Rust Life channel, I will be just racing it. Uh, taking it around to events, talking with people about cycle cars, doing a little bit of the history of it, and that kind of fun stuff. So we're going to try to do both channels with it. We'll see how that goes. So make sure you go to Hardcore Fab, subscribe there so you can watch me build this thing. Hit the subscribe button here if you want to learn more about cycle karting. Thank you so much for watching today. And remember, if you're not having fun in life, you're doing it wrong.